So the question one has to ask is, why are the main media outlets um, trying to suppress Ron Paul's candidacy? It's the most exciting story. He has all the youth voters uh, fired up, similar to the Obama's candidacy. With Obama, we saw a horrible betrayal. So people are looking for somebody who's authentic and verifiably so. That's why Ron Paul is so popular, because whatever he says, most people are inclined to think he would actually do it, because he has fearlessly said things that have gotten him booed. And we all knew Obama was flexible, shall we say. So um, in the case of Obama, uh, let's see if I can get you some information here that summarizes what he's done. Obama said uh, he, uh, that he would restore our Constitution. Instead, he has propelled the Patriot Act forward, even making its definition of how it's implemented uh, uh, top secret. We aren't even allowed to know how it's implemented. Uh, I think his name was Wyden, a senator from uh, Oregon, who said if we knew how the White House was interpreting it, we would be very upset. In the case of this new law, the NDAA, which allows permanent uh, you know, you can be put in prison forever without trial on suspicion. You've lost all your rights. The Bill of Rights is just gone. And Obama claimed to be concerned about this, but Levin went on the Senate floor and said it was Obama who insisted that U.S. citizens be prosecutable when they discussed removing that provision. Feinstein and Rand Paul were trying to remove it. Unfortunately, Diane ended up voting for this uh, beast. She did try to mitigate it. Uh, so I don't feel like raking over the coals today. Uh, her joining with Rand Paul uh, as a former San Franciscan was somewhat sentimental considering what a neocon she appears to be at times, but uh, it's a complicated story with Diane Feinstein and me. Uh, then, uh, not that she knows me or anything, but then we've got um, SOPA. Uh, he's pushing this thing. Now, SOPA is, good, is an anti-piracy law. But, you know, I almost lost my YouTube channel for supposedly pirating things because I reposted a couple of very short news articles. So to me, SOPA will be an excellent way to suppress citizen journalism because how do we get access to material to present it to you if we're immediately prosecuted for piracy and simply citing a piece of news? So that's my own personal concern. But there are uh, mo many people are completely against this ability to force internet providers to shut down websites. He's uh, expanded this drone program, which is completely uh, nightmarish. Imagine how creepy it would be for uh, you to have little tiny robots flying around assassinating people in your community. Imagine what that would... I've been to Pakistan. You certainly don't want to even think about how hard it would be to travel in a lot of these countries now because of the anti-American sentiments. And what about trade? How do you have trade under such a situation? Undeclared war, the war against Libya, was full of disinformation. Regardless of how you feel about Gaddafi, there's no many, many problems with that war um, that I won't go into right now. Uh, he said he would help the middle class and poor. I had a foreclosure going on. I can tell you one thing. He sure didn't help middle class and poor with mortgages. I filed bankruptcy, and I was able to save my house. Um, but I certainly couldn't through any of these uh, uh, HAMP programs, which is just pathetic. Uh, Google HAMP, if you don't believe me. So he did a really crappy job of uh, completely limp legislation that had no teeth whatsoever. Uh, and um, he has uh, propelled our military industrial complex forward, as all the rest will do. And these people are all willing to destroy our country in their own lust for power. Um, he said he would talk to our enemies. He didn't talk to our enemies. Uh, you know, uh, Goldman Sachs is the number one contributor to both his and Romney's campaign. Um, so I could keep going on, but Obama's become a neocon, as far as I could tell. So who is it that wants to uh, uh, paint the one interesting story, first of all, suppress it, and, and of course, the key problem for our country, and the uh, I think his name was Tom Davis, the... Uh, the guy who endorsed um, uh, uh, Ron Paul on Sunday, and he's nailed it. Uh, you know, I have always considered myself fairly uh, liberal, um, but I must say this, uh, I've never been against the Tea Party. 
uh, or Occupy Wall Street or anything like that. Um, but he's nailed it. He said our real national security threat is economic decline and not foreign invasion. And that's exactly right. And so all this money that's being spent on all this crap is killing our economic competitiveness. Ron Paul's the only honest voice who's willing to say things that'll get him booed. That's what people crave, because Obama raised our hopes. But if we looked at his track record, we could see that there was a very high risk that he would sell out because of his uh, behavior previously. He voted for the Patriot Act. Uh, I don't know whether he voted for the uh, war in Iraq or not. I th he wasn't in the Congress at the time, that's right. Um, he voted for Patriot Act reauthorization. So there were disturbing things about him, and a, a lot of things about what he said, but we thought he underneath it all had us uh, in his uh, heart, but doesn't look like it at all now. Uh, so I went into looking at exactly who owns these media companies. Uh, so let's see if I can get to that. Uh, okay, and then we'll end for tonight. Okay, here we go. So uh, first of all, MSNBC. MSNBC uh, top holders, Vanguard Group, State Street Corporation, BlackRock, uh, FMR, LLC, Capital World Investors, Bank of New York, Mellon. General Electric is a military industrial complex company, if ever there was one. So now let's look at uh, the shareholders of Disney, which controls ABC. Look at that, same guys, FMR, Vanguard, State Street, BlackRock. Uh, isn't that interesting? Okay, and um, so then I, uh, who is this one now? Okay, we've got GE, we've got Disney. Uh, those represent, uh, then we've got um, AOL Time Warner, and I believe that's this one here, and again, very similar, oh, but these are mutual fund holders, sorry. Here is AOL Time Warner, uh, and it's the same gang owning that, as far as I can tell. Um, and then uh, one of the big ones is BlackRock. I studied BlackRock, uh, which is founded by uh, Lawrence Fink, and again, uh, BlackRock is owned by a lot of these same, okay, who is this? No, wait a minute, this is BlackRock. Uh, is that AOL, Time Warner, is that CBS? I'm not sure. And then Fox, the main, Rupert Murdoch still has control of Fox, and I can't figure out how uh, when these particular listings don't even show him here, but he does. So it's very much the same companies over and over. So. CNN is controlled by uh, Time Warner. Uh, Disney uh, uh, is controlled by a polyglot of interest, similar to the ones you see here. Um, and then um, Fox is, of course, controlled by Rupert Murdoch, but again, many of the same companies invested in it. Bank of New York Mellon, heavy in this area. General Electric, again. So uh, it's the same core group of uh, investment firms that own all of these media companies, and I will continue to work on getting you more information about that. Um, so I think that should about do it. Thank you, good luck, and good night.